Okay guys, the mailman just came and I'm pretty sure these are the new Testo probes. Let's see what we got. The Gen 2. This is the big kit, the six piece kit. Ready. Put that over there. Oh yeah. Very good. Now they put it in a bigger case nowadays. I think they call it the family case. Alright. Okay, we have two 115 eyes, two 549 eyes and two 605 eyes and as far as i know these are the only ones uh the only probes that they upgraded so far up to 350 feet with uh no obstructions obviously Tisto. Ooh, this is nice uh, I like it how it's all in one, your probes are, you know, your refrigeration probes are in uh, one spot versus, uh, you know, different uh, pockets here. This side, we have this six of five eyes. Now, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so let's look at these. Look at these. You got the batteries. I don't know if these are extras. Yeah, these must be extras because uh, these have batteries in them already. Know about these ones. Oh, that little strap there to hold it in. Mm hmm. They're not going nowhere. Yeah, so these are pretty much, uh, they got the 45s on them, which is uh, definitely a nice upgrade versus uh, the first gen straight. Let's compare the size. Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, Pretty much the same body but just a different tip and as you see here the button on this one is uh, indented more like uh, the clamps the clamps uh, the older clamps through have the indented button so that way it doesn't I'm assuming so that way it doesn't actually accidentally turn on which is good that's good so we got these these clamps look pretty much same I would say got the same uh, thermistor in there or temperature sensor so yeah like I said they, they don't do good on the you know three eighths and smaller so they didn't really do any upgrades there which is a little shame so there we got that let's look at the 605s they do have a magnet on the back here so there's a magnet there I don't know if there's a magnet on this on this thing I think there's a magnet on this thing too yep oh that's kind of oh that's cool so you can just kind of go straight and deduct and it'll oh yeah that's cool that is definitely nice and then this just clicks like that, you could do a 90, little 45, straight. Very nice. Let's compare it to the first gen. This has a smaller diameter uh, probe, which is which is good. That's the difference I see. Same buttons, same uh, light. Do these have the same lights? Yeah, these have the same lights as a uh, first gen, so they didn't upgrade the light, the indicator lights on it. That is a little shame, but uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I like it how it's a thin air diameter tip. That's definitely nice. Oh, it looks like a different sensor too. 
definitely different. At least it looks different. It might be the same, it's just different orientation in there. So they did that for a reason. Okay. Nice. Same uh, Teflon seal in there. Those are a little uh, tougher. To, they don't sell those anywhere. You, I think you can maybe get these on eBay or possibly test of Lord, Lord help you if you have to call them <laughs> for any help. Um, so here's the probe. So we'll go ahead and try to. We'll go ahead and turn it on and try to connect them and see what happens. Okay, so they're still doing that funny business with the batteries in here where the positive kind of goes on the spring. So you got to pay attention to the stickers and everything. So be careful. Still the same. Pretty much, you know, every, everything is pretty close to how it was. Screw it back on. I mean, these look like the same IP rating as the first gen ones. I mean, there's, there's no row ring, but, uh, you know, it goes on relatively tight there. Okay, I pulled the strip out of there, but let's look at, at this lid. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. We got this uh, gasket, foam gasket on that surrounds the perimeter in there. It's like, uh, it takes three. Yeah, it takes three. Pretty much, I think all the probes take three batteries. Triple A. And, uh, the, the battery life are pretty much all the same on these probes, besides the 549 eyes. The previous gen say 150 hours. And these ones say 130 hours. So you're losing 20 hours of battery life, which is understandable. And, but you're probably not going to really notice that much, I mean, because these really sip the batteries. I mean, you almost never have to change the batteries in these. But, you know, that's to be expected with the longer range. I don't know what type of Bluetooth chip they're using in these. Okay, let's, so, in here we have the, all the lanyards, instructions, all that good stuff. You got the same, the same uh, little sticker, color-coded stickers in here blue and red and uh, extra sp basically extra spots for all the other probes hence why it's called a family bag so I had to uninstall okay so kind of got everything situated here is trying my tablets and everything trying to get them to connect to my tablets and everything I have to say so far I'm pretty I'm pretty disappointed so far so here's just here's the story got an old LG tablet very difficult to get even maybe three connected to this. I mean, not a surprise, this is an old piece of junk, but this works fine with the old uh, Gen 1 uh, probes. I could connect six of them to it with not really an issue. So this is out of the question, old Android stuff, not very good with the this new Gen 2 probes. Here is a Kindle Fire that's hacked. I was lucky to get four connected and it's very difficult. Um, I was able to go about 85 feet uh, unobstructed um just some bushes in the way what have you so not not very impressive but i mean this is you know this is not a good device really so there you go so i got my and i'm recording with my phone now which is lg v30 it's a newer phone has bluetooth 5.0 and all that stuff and i went about 30 feet and the 549 pressure probes would disconnect at 30 feet with no obstructions so that was very disappointing I mean I'm pretty I know like LG doesn't have good Bluetooth but even still um, the 549 i probes seem to be the most picky of the new probes here so I got my hands on uh, Samsung Samsung phones seem to have good Bluetooth I was able to go about um, 85 feet before these 549 started to uh, get picky and drop out. I was able to go maybe 95 feet at the most and it's you know that was kind of hard to do and that's basically without any obstructions there's just a couple of bushes and stuff in the way maybe a tree but no really obstructions to speak of so 
not I'm not very impressed so far, but I'm gonna try to re reserve judgment until I get my hands on uh, Apple iPad, and we'll see how that works. But as of now, I'm not very impressed. But hopefully, maybe using an Apple iPad will uh, work better because maybe you know it's not optimized for all this Android stuff. So we'll see how that goes.